הדר נויברג קוורטרט, שלום. שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you. It's a pleasure being here with you in Bet Abichai a few minutes before you take on stage with your new and exciting program dedicated to shepherds' songs composed last century by Emmanuel Zamir and Yedidia Admon. Maybe we should start with Hadar, who will tell us a bit about this project. How did it come about? Um... Well, I have a trio of my own music for a while now, um, flute, double bass and drums, and um, I got a lot of inspiration for the project from um, studying some Arabic and Middle Eastern music and trying to understand what it means to be Israeli, what it means to be Israeli, what is an Israeli culture, what is Israeli music, um, and that led me to, to explore Moroccan music and Yemenite music and different, you know, play with different people in New York that are coming from those countries. And uh, being a jazz musician and classical musician, too, I, I, I try to put all those flavors together like I felt that, like you said, um, you know, last century, the beginning of the last century was an amazing um, um, a melting pot, you know, a place of uh, meeting between different cultures that created really a unique sound that I was trying to recreate. And when Barack told me about this project, I was thinking that's going to be perfect because that's going to be, I can connect my original music to those amazing songs. And... You know, and those guys have, um, all of them, they have experience with both Arabic and Middle Eastern music and jazz music and, you know, other Western styles. So you took a, a bit of research. You had to dig in. I kind of, I kind of dug in already in the past. And, um, and yeah, but I, I, I knew the songs that I wanted to do. And then I, I listened to different, uh, and different versions of them. And I, I had those people in mind, you know, kind of, you know, as, as soon as Barak talked to me, I, I thought, okay, I know who's going to play. And you've managed, as we can see here, to assemble a talented group. Maybe Amos would like... Uh, he will start. He want to start. Okay, so Hagai. <laughs> I will start. Yes. <laughs> okay. uh, Hagai Bilitsky. Hagai, yes. Uh, double bass player. And... Um, uh, well, I, I can really relate to this project. Well, Adar called me for this for this one, and uh, told me what uh, what it's going to be about. And um, I think I think I really can feel a little bit like those musicians who, by the you know by the beginning of the last century, got acquainted with this kind of music when they came to Israel and uh, left their you know their classical Western musical education behind and try to melt it into their own, into what they, what they already know and try to do just to make it their own. This is what these songs are about. Some of them are melodies that they took from, from the Bedouins and people who, who, who were here. So I feel a little bit like those guys when my formal education was Western, classical, and though growing up here and hearing it, you know, in the background all the time, this music, but I never, I mean, just late in my musical life, uh, I started to, to deal with it. So basically it's about connecting with the music of our neighbors, and we are talking about a period that is pre-Israel. True. The, the 30s and the 40s. Right. Yeah. But this the music uh, that was here, and it was our neighbors, but also Jews always uh, lived here and in the Arab countries, and uh, you know dealt with this this kind of music. They were playing it, they were singing it in the synagogue. Right. It's not not just neighbors, but it's a different right. Um, yeah, yeah, different side of it. Amos, now you have no choice but to say okay. a few words. Yeah. What uh, what is the question? No. Uh, no, for me it's uh, very natural to connect to this uh, music uh, because... Uh, because of the wood? Not only the wood, uh, because I'm doing it for a long time. I'm doing it uh, since I was a kid. I'm playing wood and guitar since childhood. So I grew up with uh, Middle Eastern and Western and jazz music and... Uh, I think uh, it's very natural. All those songs, they're songs that uh, we grew up on them as kids, you know, in, uh, in, uh, 
in one way or another. Be before was so so many channels on TV, so that was what we what we had. And I think we are very lucky that you are doing this because it might be right when it comes to your generation or our generation. Right. But when I think about the young Israeli generation, I will not be surprised if for them they it might be know, their yeah. first encounter. Absolutely. So thank and you very much I for doing this. I think also that uh, Adar did a really great uh, arrangement for all those songs. They, it brought them back to life. And uh, Yochai is uh, stay very true to the original with his singing and the spirit of the thing, so it's great. So Yochai, in a natural uh, order. order, we are now coming to you. I see you are dressed yes. for the occasion. <laughs> <laughs> These are clothes from then, back yeah. then. Yeah. <laughs> how, do, how do you feel about this project? Um, my English is not... It's not so well, it's okay. so I'm going to talk. Um, actually, I like uh, Arabic music, and and it's very it's very close to the Arabic music, and I'm very like like this music and this kind of uh, Israeli music because it's close to Arabic music, and and I heard uh, uh, when I'm when I'm young. Now I'm young, but when, when you were younger, <laughs> younger. I uh, heard a lot of uh, Moroccan music and Arabic and uh, I feel lucky. <laughs> so basically it will be safe to say that what we have here is an attempt, which is quite natural for most of you or all of you, to connect between East and West. Uh, maybe, I know this name is already taken, the West East or East West D1. Mm -hmm. and. If I may ask you guys, uh, what do you intend to do with this uh, important rich. and beautiful project of yours? Become rich. And in addition to that? Uh, whoever uh, see this uh, program, we all uh, in a situation of need. <laughs> well, <laughs> well uh, I mean, the, the, the thing started as a one-off one thing, you know, but I... I I like it so much, and I like the people. I like the spirit of the people, and I like how we all connect. Except for Amos, but you know, Amos is cool, so he's gonna stay. But I, I like the people. I like the people so we much. Wasn't I was Friday. Sorry. <laughs> basically, basically, it will be safe. It will be safe to say that we tolerate Amos and his behavior because of his enormous talent. Yes. I'm not gonna and, take this. I'm going. But, to. Uh, but what, what I what I need to say is that I. I have some suggestions um, in Israel for, for some future shows and, and I was thinking at the beginning to take my trio project but now you know I feel that this has really something unique to offer and, and I would like next year or maybe the end of this year most likely next year to do a little tour here okay. maybe even outside of Israel you know it's, it's just the beginning like it's really fresh and of course we wish you all the success in the world but I have a question yes. if I'm not wrong you spend lots of time in New York in the Big Apple Yes, I do. Like will that. this sell in New York? Actually, I think so. I think it will actually sell in Europe too, because okay. they have a they have a lot of um, openness and tolerance towards world music. Right. New York is very pop oriented. I mean, there is a, there, there is a scene. You have you know you know so many talented people. The only thing is that I feel there is an extra value, you know, for people who are Hebrew speakers to hear that material because because the lyrics are so amazing, you know, so poetic. Um, of course, I listen to Arabic music. I don't understand what they're thinking about most of the time, and I do appreciate it. So I do feel music-wise, you know, it has a lot of musical value that that can be internationally successful. But I, I am excited about doing this project here, you know. Wonderful, wonderful. And hopefully one day it will be possible for you to perform amongst our neighbors. Yes, and host them and have them. And as host you them, know. yeah. yeah. Definitely. So guys, uh, thank you very much for taking the time. Thank I wish you, you all thank the you. best in your uh, project. And in your permission, we will take one clip or two during the performance sure. and also put it on our page Great. and YouTube Great. channel. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Thank you.